blessings beautiful people i hope all is well i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day um so i got this analogy um and the analogy is this so remember when you were a a, a child and which with, with your mom I, I'll, I'll talk about me when i was a kid with my mom man i was like really afraid of my mom like whatever my mom told me to do like i'm doing it like i could be playing the game and mama say shirao that's how she would call me she was shirao and she would call me i'm playing the game come here i'm like stopping what i'm doing and i'm going to see what she want because i did not want her to call me a second or third time um, when I was a kid to, to, to do what she said. And then as I got in my teenage years, um, I was afraid of her, but I tried her a little bit. Like, you know, she may have, I'll be playing a game and she goes, Shrew! um, she was going to have to call me about two or three times and I would, would move. Now I find that I'm an adult. Um, mom would tell me what to do, or she will ask me to do something and she's not calling my name like that, but she'll, Sherelle, I need you to go to the store, whatever it is when I'm back home. Um, I'm not, it's not that I, I I don't fear her. I do, but I ain't so quick to, to move. I mean, all right, Ma, I, I, I run to the store once I'm done with this. Like, it's, it's, it's because I've become an adult, I'll do it, but it's when I'm done doing what I want to do. So over the past couple of days, the Lord has really been dealing with me. Holy Spirit has really been dealing with me um, in regards to doing what he says when he says it. I was um, on my phone or I think I was playing spades on my phone. Like I love spades. So I was playing spades and I'm winning and I hear the Holy Spirit says, all right, put that down. I want you to read a little bit. But Holy Spirit, like I'm I'm winning like we I'm in here. This is like I'm fun. I'm winning you want me to okay well after this game is done and after the game was done i think i played another game and then i i read and then the next day i was watching something and the lord said uh earlier in the day he said i don't want you to spend too much time watching tv i want you to spend some time in your word with me today and i said of course lord yeah dude, holy spirit yeah we're gonna spend some time today. I, yeah we're gonna do that and as I went on, I watched TV pretty much most of the day. And later on in the evening, I was like, I heard him say, okay, you're going to cut that off and spend some time. But this show is so good. Like, I only got 30 minutes. And when the 30 minutes is up, I'll, you know, spend time. And what he reminded me of was when I was a child, how fearful I was of my mother. When I first got saved, how when the Lord would tell me to do something, man, I had so much zeal, so much fire. I was like, okay, Lord, I'm putting that down. I'm doing what you said. But as I have grown in relationship with him, as I've gotten a little more mature in my walk with him, I'm, I'm, it's not that I don't respect him. It's just I'm not so quick to do it right then and there. And with God, that's a problem because just like with, with your parents you know it, it's a problem you know your mom like you, I know my mom gets frustrated with me when I don't do what she says right then and there and so many time in our walk with God we be get we become so comfortable with him we become so 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 familiar with him that we just forget to or we choose not to obey when he says when he says move he doesn't mean all right when you done with that he means right now i need you to move right now i need you to open your word right now i need you to pray right now right now not when you feel like doing it when you don't feel like doing it when you don't want to cut off the tv you need to cut it off and press in because there is something i'm trying to get to you there is something i want to want to converse with you about but if you're not willing to obey me and god is a gentleman although i was playing the game he didn't force his but i could sense man you you jacking you you messing some stuff up put the game down and spend time with god you know we 
I and he he's really been on me about that making sure that I I make time for him uh Proverbs um I believe it's Proverbs 1 and and uh, I think it's one one and four where it says um where it says uh the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom that sometimes we think we're wise in what we're doing but really the fearing the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and they're not talking about a fear I, I know when I get started with the analogy I talked about how I feared my mom like I feared her like literally like this woman if I don't do what she says she's gonna kill me like I literally feared her and as I got older and I realized she calling me but uh, she ain't gonna hit me or anything so I'm I think I'm good I feared her but it was a little more relaxed feared and as I matured I feared her but it shifted from a fear but more so a reverence or a respect I respect my mother I love her too much to not listen to what she says God is saying I want you to fear me but the fear has to be a respect a respect and a reverence that when I say do something you love me and respect me too much to not listen to not kind of play around and waste time when I say move I need you to move and out of your fear out of the respect out of the reverence for me you do it and understand that I, I had to realize man God isn't telling me to do something for his benefit it's for my benefit I grow in wisdom and understanding and knowledge when I can put down the phone and I make a decision to be intentional about my relationship with God. When I when I make a decision to be intentional about getting to know him, about spending time because I know that there's something that he's trying to get to me. There's some type of wisdom. There's some type of understanding. There's something that he wants, especially when he's praying, when I'm praying, when he's there is something that he's wanting me to pray about. There is something that he's wanting me to press in about. Maybe some danger coming that I may not know about. But if I could pray, if I can get in his presence, then he can give me wisdom on what is to come. Because he's already in tomorrow working out the things of itself. So when God is telling us to do something, we cannot be fearful or... Uh, kind of not not even be fearful we cannot be disobedient um we must have reverence and fear for the lord and be and do what he says simple as that when he says move move when he says put the put the the, the phone down and spend time put the phone down and spend time I love you guys. I just wanted to come on and share that. Um, it really blessed my heart. I was sharing it with a friend. And I said, ooh, that'll be a good video to, to jump on and share. So I thought I, I would do that. Um, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, a like, um, whatever. And let me know what y'all think about uh, the videos thus far. Um, I love you guys. I pray that you be blessed and you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.